Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and this is my last book haul of 2023. I'm actually very proud of how little of a stack I have next to me. <laughs> um, I've done a lot of inner soul searching when it comes to book buying. Okay, I have not done a lot of book buying for myself. I love spoiling my friends and other people with buying books for them, but um, I haven't bought a lot for myself and I wanna give myself a giant pat on the back for that because I need to save money. Okay, I need to save money. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a little stack next to me, but I thought I'd highlight these books. These are the books that I've received or gotten or bought since my last book haul. And I'm so eternally grateful. A few of these were gifts from friends for Christmas and whatnot. So thank y'all so much. And let's get into this haul. I don't have a particular order. I'm just going from the stack. There's no order or like sections to this haul. I'm just going willy-nilly, okay? <laughs> First one that I have is Only When It's Us by Chloe Liza. This is the new edition of the first book in the Bergman Brothers series. These books got picked up by Berkeley, this series did, and so they're being republished with new covers, and I'm absolutely obsessed with these covers. I love them, so I needed them in my life. And Lizelle over at Lizelle Loves Books, I'll link her down below. She is so incredibly sweet. She got me this book for Christmas. Thank you so much. We really connect over books that have disability and chronic illness reps, so this is such like a treasure that she got this book for me. I love it. I think it's stunning. Um, and I think there's possibly extra content um, in these new editions. I don't remember though, um, or different content. I don't know. Um, but I'm very excited to have this for my Chloe Lisa shelf up there. Speaking of the new Chloe Lisa book, I have Always Only You by Chloe Lisa. This is book number two in the series. <laughs> and I am so happy about this one as well. B over at Mama Needs to Remember It's got me this book for Christmas. Thank you so much, B. I love you. I love that woman so much. Check her out down below. I love her a lot. Um, and this is my favorite book in the series. And um, I love them so much. Like, look at them. Look at Ren. Ren is like the ultimate book boyfriend. I want him. Like, I just want him. Like, Chloe, can you make him a real person? Like, did you write about a real person secretly? Because tell me who he is, because I want him. So, anyway, fantastic romance. I love it so much. More people need to read this book and this series. Next, I have The Wreckage of Us by Brittany Cherry. I got this as a gift from Melissa over at Book Bar, another booktuber. I'll link her down below. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, she got me this Brittany book. I read this one. I really enjoyed it. It's going to be added to my Brittany shelf behind me, one of these little cues behind me. I love Brittany's book so much, and so I'm so happy to have this one for my collection. This one is a new adult romance. Both characters are in the new adult range, like, 19 to like 22 I think is like their age range and the heroine does not have a good home life She needs a job in order to like start saving up money to move out So she ends up getting a job at a ranch in town in their small town And that's where the hero works and lives because his grandfather owns the ranch and they don't really get off on the right foot because the hero judges her right from the get-go because of the way she looks and also because of her parents and her living situation like he thinks that she's just as bad as her mother and her stepfather because her stepfather kind of like ruined his parents lives um but that could not be further than the truth she does not not go for her stepdad like at all she despises him that's all i want to say about this one but it's a great small town romance spirit is another one of my lovely booktube friends i'll link her channel down below as well but she got me lizzie blake's best mistake by Maisie eddings my first Maisie eddings book um this was the first Maisie eddings books that i ever read and now i've read all the books in this series i love it so much so i'm very happy that this book is now in my collection this one's about lizzie who ends up getting pregnant from a one night stand by a guy who's visiting the united states on like a work trip but he actually is australian he lives in australia and um, she calls him up afterward to tell him that she's pregnant and he drops everything and he moves to America to be with Lizzie and help her through this pregnancy. Um, there's fantastic ADHD representation. Like this one is so fun. I love it a lot. Like this one and Out on a Limb really have sparked my love for surprise baby books. Like now I'm hooked. Now I see why some people love them because now I'm one of them. I ended up purchasing the people cover of Hopeless by Elsie Silver. I have not read this one yet because I have not read Reckless yet, but I needed to get the people cover before um, they they went out because they're changing like the covers and whatnot. Um, but man, I've heard like, I've heard like mixed things about this one. So I'm a little nervous. That might be also why I haven't picked it up yet. But I want to say this person cover is my favorite one out of the bunch. Like the way she's gripping onto his necklace, like, Mm. I'm like obsessed with this. I like, look at her like gripping the necklace. Like, 
I'm obsessed. There's a reason why I love people covers so much. Like this is a testament to that. And the whole series is because all those books in that series, absolutely stunning. I of course also had to purchase Take You Down by McKay Marie, my lovely friend McKay over at Hey It's McKay, wrote a book. And this is the book. I have not read this one yet, but I plan to very soon. Do not worry. I know she's currently working on book two. So I am so incredibly happy for her and so excited for her. And just, I can't wait to dive into this book and learn about these characters that she created. I know she's been playing this book for like years. So I'm so excited to read this one very soon. And then hopefully when I see McKay again one day, like she's gonna sign this baby for me. Like I need you, McKay, I need you to sign it for me. I need to, when I see you next. I don't know when that is, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Then Rachel, like out of the blue, like a month or two ago, sent this to me. This is More to Love by Jessica Kane. Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings. I absolutely love her. She's one of my closest friends here. I love her so much. Go check her out if you have not yet. She's amazing. Um, but this is a bind up of like five Jessica Kane novellas. Like, hello. And this also means a lot because Jessica Kane is not writing books anymore. It's so tragic. And so I'm so happy to have this on my shelf and like actually like read something from her because she doesn't like publish physical copies of books. They're all ebooks. And so she comes out sometimes, I think she has one other anthology or this is the only one, I don't know. Um, but this is her big boy anthology, which are like my favorite books by her. My favorite book by her is King Sized. And now it's in this bind up. So now I have a physical copy of like one of my favorite novellas ever. So thank you so much, Rachel. I love that you got this for me. And I know we're both so upset. It just came, it's not writing anymore. It's tragic. Samantha over at Books with Samantha like absolutely spoiled me, okay? She got me two Ruby Dixon novellas for my collection back here and I was so excited to add them. Um, so this is When She's Ready, which is the first book in the Ristiverse uh, series, which is one of her Alien Romance series that is so stinking fun, um, but it's a little novella. that You could actually listen to this book for free on the Read Me Romance podcast, by the way. That's what I did, so go check that out if you have not. Um, but this one is super fun. I don't remember a lot about this one, but it says she, in order to stay on a remote farm planet, ex-con Tessar has to marry an alien, specifically a strange looking creature called a human. When he sees gorgeous, delicate Leilani though, all of his plans change. He wants more than just a marriage of convenience. He wants her forever, but only if she's ready. This one, I remember being really cute. And then she also got me one of the books in the Corsairs series. These are little novella romances uh, about space Space pirates that all like live on the same spaceship. Here the story ends up across her hair on one day when they're kind of like scoping out a space station one day. She is a human slave and it's not in a good situation whatsoever. So he decides to save her. I love pirates, especially in space. So I love this series so much. Thank you so much, Samantha, for these two books. I love them. They're gonna be added to my Ruby shelf and um I don't know if they're gonna fit, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. Speaking of Ruby Dixon, Melissa from Book Bar also got me Gail's Family, which is one of the books in the um, Ice Home series. It's an Ice Home novella. Also, sorry if the camera keeps changing, you know, like the angle, like my ring light broke a few days ago and my new one comes in tomorrow, but I need to film today. <laughs> and this thing is like moving slowly. So if you catch me like moving it and the screen moves sometimes, like, that's because I finally noticed that the screen is moving. So anyway, um, Gail's family, um, in the first book in the Ice Home series, um, Lorne and Cathar, the couple from that one, end up saving like a baby alien. And this is his uh, story about him being with Gail, who is one of like the older human women who were taken from Earth and Gail becoming his adoptive mother. Um, it's cute. It's so cute. I love this one a lot. My lovely sweet friend Victoria over at Victoria's Romance Reads got me. Dear Monster Claws by Maeve Black. I really love this like holiday monster romance. So thank you so much, Victoria, for gifting this to me. I read this one last year and it's so fun. It's about a Cupid who wants nothing but love for Christmas. So she writes a letter to Santa who like isn't like your typical Santa. Like he's like this, he's this, he looks like this. You know, like he's a monster Santa. And he's like short on Christmas spirit this year. And he thinks this heroine has it like in spades. And so he's like, okay, here's the deal. I'll help you find love for Christmas if you help me find Christmas spirit. So it's so cute. I love it so much. I need to read the other books in the series and they're about like different 
holidays. So thank you so much, Victoria. I can't wait to add this one to my shelves. The author ended up sending this next book my way. This is The Potter by Christy Marie. It looks really good when she was talking about it. So it says a brilliant surgeon, a master sculptor. The media portrayed Dr. Potter as a savior dressed in a crisp suit. I think he's a vicious madman of jerk size proportions, but fate is a wicked tease. Only Dr. Potter can give me what I need, a fresh start, a new identity. But he refused leaving me to take matters into my own hands by accepting a job as his partner's new secretary. Dr. Potter can't turn down my case forever, or at least I thought so until I found him on the floor broken, angry, with a venomous warning I failed to heed. Sounds interesting. Okay, so thank you so much, Christy Marie, for sending this one my way. Like, look at how cool that looks. I saw this one at a bookstore. Um, I, I filmed a come book shopping with me video that will come out next year for my channel members. So also, if you don't know I have channel memberships, you can join down below in my bio where you'll get an exclusive video every single week. I am starting that up um, again in 2024. I took a break from posting exclusive like once a week videos for my members in December because I posted every single day for my main channel in December. Like it was a lot. But in 2024 in January, I'm going to be starting up um, every single Monday or Sunday, sometimes it's flipped, um, you'll be getting a dedicated video um, only for channel members. So you can go watch that and you get early access to all my videos. Um, so be sure to go check out channel memberships down below if you're interested. Um, but I did a go shopping with me video and so that'll be up sometime in January. But one of the books that I found, look at this. This is Every Time You Go Away by Abigail Johnson. I don't even know what this is about. I do know that it's YA, that's all I know. It's a YA book, but look. We have a wheelchair user on the cover. Like I would have died for this book when I was in high school and like reading YA. And so I know I've said I don't read YA, but if there's fantastic rep in it, 100% I'm gonna pick it up. Uh, this looks so good. I actually have the hold for my audiobook on Libby coming in fairly soon for this. So I hopefully will really love it. I don't even know what it's about. I don't wanna know what it's about. I just know that it has a disability rep. I need in my life. My bestie, my best friend Zay got me <laughs> two books. She spoils me all the time. Um, she got me Funny Feelings by Tara Dewitt. I read this one this past year and really enjoyed it. I know this is one of her favorite books ever and she's an absolute Tara Dewitt like stan and I blame her and Caitlin for wanting me to read these books by her. Um, but this one was so fun. It's a single dad. Um, friends to lovers romance. There's fake dating. She's a comedian. He's her manager. It's so fun. And then she also got me this stunning copy of Wolf Song by TJ Klune. This is like the newest like edition of it. I think it got picked up by Tor. Yeah, it did get picked up by Tor. And so they're all getting published like these new covers. I read this series this past year for the um, Green Carry Creed Along that I did, but I didn't own any of the books. And so now I have this first one. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Zay. Um, I do still need to read the last book in this series. I know I did not end up reading that. Actually, I know shame on me because that's like Samantha's favorite book in the series. So like bully me, bully me to read it, please. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much, Zay. This is absolutely stunning. And I'm so happy to have this like werewolf shifter romance in my collection. Another book that I got in that come book shopping with me video that'll come out for my members next month is Dukes and Deeks by Tori Jean. This is her book that came out this past November. It's her newest release. It is modern day, even though this looks like a historical, it's because they're like role playing, cosplaying, being actors for like a, like a fair of sorts, like a Jane Austen fair, and they're performing as Wickham and Lydia. <laughs> so it's super cute. It's friends to lovers. Our heroine is being diagnosed with endometriosis throughout this book. So please watch out for your mental health if like you've also experienced medical gaslighting because that is in this book in spades and it was very hard to read at points. But I also loved watching her journey being diagnosed with something because it is so hard. It is so hard to be diagnosed with something when you're having a chronic illness. So um, I love this book so much. It was so good, one of my favorite 2023 releases. Um, and it also came with, um, cause I got it from a bookstore in Houston that I used to like go to all the time. Um, and so if you pre-ordered it through the bookstore, you got this art print of our two main characters. He's a hockey player, by the way. So that's amazing. He's tatted, I love it. And then there's two like, cause he's a hockey player, there's like two like hockey player stickers in here, which are super cute. I need to put those somewhere. And lastly, I have a Christmas present from my best friend, 
from high school. My friend Katie, she got me Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent. She absolutely loves the series. We really connect over fantasy romance. She loves fantasy romance. She's very particular in the fantasy romances that she picks up. Like it has to be a series, like all about the same couple. Like they can't be like interconnected standalones. Like she cannot do it. She like wants a lot of books about the same couple. And this is one that she's loved recently. And so I trust, I trust her recommendation 100%. So she got me this book for Christmas and I'm like, yes, I know I need to pick it up. I need to get the audiobook. She loves the audiobook and loves this author. I'm so excited to pick this up. I've, it's been on my radar for a while, obviously, because of BookTube, um, but she makes me want to read it even more. So I'm very excited about this. I don't even know what it's about. I know it's fantasy romance, so I'm sold. Anyways, there you have it. That is a book haul for y'all. <laughs> Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. If you sent me any of these books, thank you so incredibly much. Like y'all are the sweetest ever. I never expect anything and I'm eternally grateful to have y'all in my life. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to add them to my shelves behind me. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a wolf emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.